we're gonna have fun. The guy, he's down there right now, an 85 year old, his name's LaVoy, good friend. He's, he said he was 150 yards from a 30 head of um, buffalo, of bison, uh, with three good bulls of them, so it's gonna be fun. Looking forward to it. go time. Yeah, we're just eating breakfast. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna get on the razors, the side-by-sides, and try to head up the mountain. Try to get a stock on a bull. We're after one big bull, so we're gonna send people out looking for him. It's kind of surreal to feel like my tag in the pocket now, something that I've dreamed of to come hunt these animals forever. But the bow is like happening right now. So, it's weird. All my family here, like today really well could be the day. Hopefully it's the day, but let's go. Let's go get one today. Got that one walking on the far right. It's walking like quartering up. It was quartering down.
two nice bulls. I think this one's the bigger bull. The wind's great, it's blowing it up, up the canyon, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. A few minutes more, and then maybe we'll put a stock on them. Got sap everywhere, ants. It's everywhere. Good plan. Three bowls over here at least. So we're gonna all go up there. Glass. Three of us are going in for these to see if we can get a better look. That's what we gotta do with these things is get a better look. Day two, practically, of hunting up here, and yesterday we had some close encounters. We got a call on the radio that Jaden had found a big bull, but we got to get over there, a big herd, and so we got out in front of them, but then we said, let's go a little further and go down that canyon, and as soon as we did, went down that canyon, we didn't know that that big bull, he was at the very front, and I don't know, we probably had him at 100, 110 yards. I asked myself if I passed up an opportunity or I've got six more months to do this and so it was a hard decision. Feeling good about today though, feeling good about yesterday actually. That was a successful, successful day. But yeah, day two, let's try it again and see if we can do it. Try to wait till this gets a little lighter so we can glass and maybe we'll pick something up.
situation. 508 yards, that's a nice bowl bedded across the canyon. So I'll bless myself, call my brother, my two nephews, they want to go in on one. We're going to ride up the road, get to the ridge line, walk down the backside, come in on him. From the ridge line, he's probably 200 yards away. Um, he's been bedded for about three hours, so stood back up, turned around, bedded back down. So we're going to try to make the plan and a nice bulb up. Don't touch the stupid thing. <laughs> you have some clothes. The adventure. <laughs> we Tell us what happened. We were glassing and we've glassed up 60, 70 buffalo, but we found a lone bull or something. It went up into the trees and we were cruising down to go after these other ones. And Jaden's like, I wonder where that bull is. <laughs> Literally comes running, almost runs into the side by side. <laughs> runs out in front. He's like, we speed up, it's running down. I jump out of a moving side by side going 20 miles per hour. <laughs> Feels like running, knocking an arrow. Wes is, the cameraman's coming back behind me. He's trying to oh jump out. Oh my gosh, that was that freaking was awesome. Hilarious. We got everyone else back here <laughs> coming to save. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so cool. So I'm looking off this way and I hear a limb break. Smash! And I look over and I'm like, Wah! He's like, what? Whoa! <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, right in front of him, like, whoa! Look out! First time narrow and pumpkin. That was cool.
broke off a 12 inch around log as they're coming running down this hill. This is crazy stuff here. Smoked a giant wolf. Oh my gosh, I couldn't turn my camera on. Oh my gosh, blood out both sides. Jaden's screaming. Oh, I, oh my gosh, what's going on with me? That's so emotional. Holy cow, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. 70 yards, jumped up, range to me, it was 40. They all took off, there's about 20 of them. He turned back and looked. I looked at him in my binos, saw that it was him, ranged him 70 yards, drilled him right in the heart, right in the heart. Dude, Preston, you just smoked a giant, man. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. <gasps> We've been on this stock since 10.30 this morning. I don't even know what time it is, but it has been a long time. Holy cow, clean pass through, blood oozing out as he was running. He's, um, let's give him some time, but I'm pretty sure he's dead, man. Good bull, excellent bull. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you, like, it looked great. I saw him running away. I saw that, I saw the arrow fall out the other side, the opposing side, clean pass through. And I just saw cups of blood falling out as he was running. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> that was intense. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, man, I can't believe it. And that was the big one that was chasing all the cows around, making a fuss. That's him. That's him with a gun of split. 70 yards. Holy crap, I cannot believe this just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you just did it, man. Oh my gosh. You man. killed the, the biggest freaking bull. Oh my gosh. Holy right God. there. <laughs> you got it going? <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy God. Oh my that God. That was awesome. That was so cool. Crap. Dude. He's a goner. He's sure? dead. Oh, he's dead. That's the worst feeling. I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Holy smokes. This cow I ranged him, he was 38. I snuck from here over to there off this face. Yeah. On my hands, on my butt like this. Oh jeez. Just going down. Oh jeez. That was so he just cool. Went out perfect. And then there was that bull about this far behind him. Yeah. Both looking yeah. and I had that front shoulder. I'm just like. Yeah. And I just watched my arrow go thunk. Didn't watch the arrow go in, but I watched him buck up. And they turned and I saw that arrow on the other side bouncing oh, like this and then it falls out and then just like somebody just dumped a bottle of really? blood out of that hole. Oh, nice and low. Perfect. Low, nice. Low. Just perfect. It's perfect. Oh it is a perfect. I bet you just sliced that heart right oh in half. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. That was, 
freaking. That horn looks like a baseball bat coming it's out of his head. Just that one side. Yeah. Really, he's a little shorter on that side. Yeah. But he's groomed and oh my gosh. He's a nice bull. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Emotional, that was so hard. <laughs> Holy cow. That was incredible. That was incredible to watch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come over here. <laughs> Go see it. Make sure you dance. Woo! You can be loud. <laughs> well, first things first, it's a bull. Oh my gosh. Here, let me hold that. Oh my gosh. That was an emotional yeah, roller coaster right there. We tracked him, what, 150 yards, but that was a lot of blood. I freaking, oh my gosh. Oh my Look at that thing. Wow. That's an extremely nice bull, sir. That's a nice bull, huh? <laughs> Archery kill right there, once in a while. This is huge. Oh my. Oh my god. Look at that head right there. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Wow, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That's a big ball. I don't know what to say. That's, <laughs> it's been a dream of mine right here to shoot a bull with my bow and this guy was the biggest meanest one of the pack we sat on him look how big they are holy cow <laughs> i can't believe that he's been dead for a little bit he has a... wow nice job sat on that stock from 10 30 till 5 is when you finally shot him jeez <laughs> want to come pet him 10 30 Tell five. Oh, let's go pet him, Wyatt. Nice. Oh, cool, cow. Yeah, perfect shot. That was your exit. That's my exit there. Look at those things. That's a perfect shot. I mean, clean pass three. It's almost like petting a sheep. It's kind of like petting a sheep, huh? <laughs> I can't believe you did this. Right this is so cool. See that? Oh, yeah. He's been fighting. Right there. He is not going to come alive. Kind of he this. is completely dead. On this I don't care. One. He looks like alive because his eyes. Oh, his eyes. Do you need help? Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, some help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming alive. That's just press. This thing is dead. That's just the air inside of him. Got that on video. Nice. That's good. So right here, there's a tenderloin. His back strap's right under that. That orange stuff is his fat. So they get that orange, they get that orange in their fat from their diet. And they eat lots of plants that have, coll is it collagen that makes it orange? Mm -hmm. But it is pretty. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a sunset. Yeah, there you go. They're finding beauty and fat. That's kind of pretty. Look at sunset. Oh. Sticky. It's sticky, Ew. yeah. Fire bison so sunsetty. <laughs> I want to cut What does it feel like? Goo slime. Goo? Goo slime. And there's the smell. 
That's kind of an interesting smell, huh? They do have a different smell. Could we keep the sunset? <laughs> I want to put this in my room. This is the sunset. She yes. wants to keep it. <laughs> in your room? Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. You hear that, Preston? She wants to hang some fat on her yeah. wall. Okay. Mm. Well, I might Let's change. Do it. I might change my mind. Nope. Too late. It's already going up. All of it. No. It's already I there. Look at that bone. Wait, is that bone? I can where, change where, my this? mind. I'm still thinking. The ribs are under there. Ribs right here. No, I'm talking about. I can, I'm that's still his, thinking. That's his, Look at that right there. That's, that's his scapula. His, see his shoulder. This is his. This. This muscle right here would be scapula? like. This is your the scapula. That's your scapula. Where's my scapula? Right on your back of your shoulder. It kind of feels bony. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I want to put it. All right, we made it back Hello? to camp. Ooh, I just drank one, actually. Thank we you. made it back alive. Made it back. How do you think? I like the lights. <laughs> it only took three hours to get back. Three and a half hours from loaded. What time is it? 3.33. About 3.45. 3.45 a.m. 3.45 right now? Yep. It's too early. Wait, it's too late. Usually we wake up in an hour to go hunt, so. <laughs> Barely made it back. I think I'm gonna with stay everything. up. And, I think I'm going to stay up and watch the sunrise. Made it back with everything. Got it. Three and a half hour pack loaded. How long did it take to clean it? Yeah, we were about three hours from breaking it down, cake quarter, packed up, ready to go in about three to three and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like that was two a long... seven year old, seven. Two se <laughs> seven year old. That's awesome. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. We did it. Glad we're here. One arrow. One Glad arrow. we're here. Well, it's over. My once in a lifetime hunt right here. When I hit him, hit him perfect, right in the heart, perfect. Um, this arrow right here. Did the trick it's 440 or excuse me 545 grains and shooting 70 pounds out of the matthews with the iron wheel um, broadhead and per put it just perfect i had a lot of emotions shooting this thing it um man geez um was hard it was really hard actually it just means a lot to me to to have my whole family here I was going through a lot of emotions when I shot this and I really wanted the camera, I really wanted my cameraman Wes to be here, um, my friend Colby to be here. I really wanted my brother to be here as well. Um, and I was sitting there at 20 yards from these bulls just going back and forth whether I should shoot it or not. Or We knew it was a nice bull. We knew that there was some bigger ones, but really he's a nice bull and with an archery kill, I think he's a, he's a great bull, record book bull. Jaden can't thank him enough um, and his wife Callie for really just showing us this mountain the Henry Mountains here it's beautiful and really just one of the best guys around um, good friend felt like this was kind of meant to be for that reason I wanted y'all to see it um, I even had uh, my GoPro on my bow and everything like that but I didn't hit play on that because it just happened zero to 60 you know how that is but it meant a lot to me to have my family here, um, my daughter, and for her to see it. This was, that was one of the most physically demanding hunts that I've ever done, packing these things out. My wife, um, she's filming this right now, and she'll attest to this as she's probably nodding her head. She said that that was one of the most physically demanding things she's ever done. And to have the kids, our two seven-year-olds, hiking in the middle of the dark at 3.30 in the morning, literally probably 15 or 2,000 vertical feet, elevation straight uphill to be died down in this big bottom um, was really cool and that right there made it worth it and so I hope you enjoyed all this and I know it's not the content that you probably were wanting or expecting but I appreciate all the support people lending me coolers people lending me four-wheelers um, people driving down here spending money and gas I know you didn't get to see the kill but to me that's not what it was important this hunt was about having my family here Last weekend, having uh, my whole family and friends and everyone there supporting me um, meant a lot. Yeah, he's a nice bull. Um, he'll look good on a, in our room, in our office, but it's been a lot of fun. He's got some character. And again, he presented me a shot that I just couldn't not shoot. It would have been silly to not shoot. And so... 
That's it.